Alright everyone, this is Flying McGuffin and we are playing some Crusader Kings 2 as part of the new Paradox Mega Campaign I am going to be playing. If you aren't familiar with the concept of a Paradox Mega Campaign, it's just when you take one of the Paradox Grand Strategy games, in this case Crusader Kings 2, and then move on to the next game, historically and chronologically speaking, uh, which would be Cru uh, Crusader Kings 2 into Europe Universalis 4, and then you move on from there until you get to the game that you don't want to play anymore. Um, so then after that you go into Victoria 2 and then into Hearts of Iron 4, which is what I will be doing. Now this is going to be a part 0 rather than being a part 1 because this is going to be uh, done, this this is going to be done on stream on my, my Twitch channel and I already recorded the stream and I'm going to be editing that down for various reasons, which I'll get into a little bit later. So, yeah, and I'm going to be doing most of these on stream. So, for those who want to watch it traditionally on YouTube, it'll still be on there. I'll try to put them up at least as frequently as I used to before. I'll probably be playing this at actually a much accelerated rate. But I, I really started this with the idea that people would be um, participating with, you know, uh, giving me ideas for what things I should do and, and, and because this is about a story moving forward rather than me trying to take over the world. It is about that too. <laughs> but yeah, so that kind of dem democratizing of decision making and, and getting of input into things and, you know, people having fun with with it was the idea from the start and you know um, the streaming thing I enjoy talking to people while while I'm doing this and all that stuff so because I'm streaming it that basically means that you know if something goes wrong in the game whether it's a crash or or anything like that it's going to be visible to everyone and that's fine with me um, I like being you know forthcoming and 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 honest about stuff and that's part of what this is about because this is going to be um, appended not appended literally but like this is gonna be part zero because part one will start at a point that I had to restart a bunch of times so the initial explanation of the start did not make it into the video will not make it into the video so and it's a pretty long explanation as these tend to be and because of the random nature of the start, there is going to be a little bit of reloading at the beginning because it was a very long stream. It was actually the second time I tried to get a good start of this. Um, it's a very, very interesting start with a very, um, very, very Crusader Kings 2 stuff going on. Um, and uh, yeah, you, you'll see in the stream what's going on. Um, and, you know, I will beat myself up about it a little bit but there was some restarting and reloading and uh, that will bleed into the video a little bit because of me, me basically feeling sorry for myself but uh, once we get over the rough patch at the beginning where I don't have to worry about losing all of my work because of the situations in the game things will go much smoother and uh, you know whatever so um, this guy and moving forward I won't be reloading just for spurious reasons like oh I got a bad trade or oh I, I died in at an inopportune time if it's not gonna make me lose immediately then I'm not gonna do it like even if I lose provinces I won't reload so um, it's just in this case for reasons that will become clear shortly if I do anything poor with this character specifically at the beginning of the game I will lose 100% of the time so, yeah, let's get into the start. I can't just go into the game because this is recorded after the fact. And this character has random stats, so his stats are irrelevant as far as where we're going here with this. But, uh, yes, we are playing as Thupo Lig Ligmigyal. I don't know which order these are supposed to go in. Um, I know Lig is his family name, though. And Thupo, I think, is the duchy title. Um, I think I pronounced of <laughs> properly. I don't even know I said of Parang. 
but yes, Parang is the duchy in Tibet that we are a part of. And there's no king title above us. So Parang is this. You may be thinking, Flight McGovern, that's a pretty big duchy to be starting at. Well, it's a big, pretty big duchy in Tibet. And you're right, it does have a lot of things. But I think a lot of these are not even de jure this duchy. Like we just have a lot of provinces. But we don't have a lot of provinces. We own this province. It doesn't even say, yeah. We we have this province. Our vassals, which you can see, two of which are chiefs, own the majority of the provinces <laughs> that we have. And, uh, oh, I forgot to mention that we are the special monastic feudal government, which is basically exactly the same as feudal, except that you can hold temple titles without problem. I think... I think that is different, but, like, uh, the main difference is that you can have... Uh, when you have to change your laws, it costs you piety. So, it's a little bit of a change from normal normal feudal stuff. Now, a lot of our land will be tribal, which means we'll have one holding and be complete garbage. <laughs> so, there's that. Um, so... The interesting thing about this guy, you also start at 32, you are married, and your marriage ties it, tie you with one of the other duchies, I think. You have a sister as your heir who is married to a guy who lives up in the Western Protectorate, basically China. And it's a normal marriage, so you're not getting any further heirs from that. And I think your wife is about the same age, but you're pagan. This is Bon paganism. Uh, yes, Bon. This is a pre- pre-Buddhist religion. It's an unreformed pagan, which means we can't convert anything very easily, and we can't ask people to convert. Um, thankfully, we're, we're not a chiefdom. The one, the thing next to us is a chiefdom. Uh, the, I think it's a duchess. Yeah, duchess is a chiefdom. Um, so that would be a harder start. That character is actually this character's lover. And they're both married, so... Uh, actually, I don't know if she starts married. I think she does. Anyway. Um, the problem with all of this, you may have noticed when I pick clicked that religion thing, is not everybody in Tibet is Bon. The Emperor is not. He's, he's Buddhist. Now, Buddhist, you might think, oh, that's peaceful religion. It is, but it's organized, so you can um, you can take people's provinces away if they are not your religion. Yeah, and uh, I'm thinking, oh well, I mean, if you get along with the emperor, that would be great, and you don't have to worry about that. Mhm. Mm yeah, that would be fine. Now, this character has a lot of interesting things, historically, sorry about him. That thing with him being the lover of this character, for instance. He also starts with a ton of claims, including claims on other duchies, claims on all of your provinces that you're, that you're, um, well, most of the provinces that your vassals own, because you just take them away, and claim on a king title. Now, you might be thinking, well, that sounds great. That's that's perfect. That's that's like exactly what you want from the start. I mean, you're starting with one province, but you got vassals and all that. You can just take their provinces. That's not the problem. The problem is your liege, the emperor of Tibet, who is a different religion than you, is your rival. So, you start with a like a minus 200 malice with this character, who, if they en enact a law soon enough, can simply take your province away from you, because he's your direct liege. He can just take this province, game over. And that happened to me a few times. So I had to restart a bunch of times. And... Yeah. It's pretty brutal. 
plus with the, your your situation and this guy being your 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 rival, it's fairly easy for people to kill you via plots. So you can just lose that way very early in the game. And Tibet's not the most stable place. <laughs> if you just go to the Viking Age start, that empire doesn't exist anymore. So... Yeah, and that's only a hundred years. Um, so, to explain, that's the situation by the, by the, at, the, at the start of the game. My strategy was to take provinces away from... Uh, well, to kill this character so I'd get her provinces. Because you, she doesn't start married and with no heirs and stuff. So you, you're her direct uh, inheritor at that point. Uh, I'm explaining this because I didn't get to explain it in the game that I was streaming because I had to restart a bunch of times. Like, over the course of two streams. So, like, for maybe six or seven times. I don't know. I even tried a couple off-screen just to see if I could get anything good going. Um, and one of those was promising, so I, I decided to, to redo it on stream. But in any case, because I was streaming... I was streaming... It was like a five-hour stream. And... Um, I eventually did get going, but at some point, stuff happens where I was going to lose no matter what, so I'd have to restart. But things were going at the point where I wasn't, at the moment, always going to lose. So I did reload the save from there. Not playing this on Iron Man because my computer sucks. Um, I'm going to have to mod the games later to make them uh, fit the game as I'm converting things. Uh, it's just part of the conversion process. The only ones that can be converted natively are CK2 and EU4, so modding is going to be required as part of the game moving forward from there. And my computer's like seven years old, and it doesn't run modded games very well, especially Crusader Kings 2 will just... Cr or not Crusader Kings 2, Victoria 2 will just crash for no reason sometimes. And it doesn't even have an Iron Man mode, as far as I remember. So, yeah. But I'm not going to be playing this in particular in Iron Man mode, because, mostly because I'm streaming and stuff. So, if I have to reload, everybody will see it. Now, I'm not going to make people on YouTube watch me reload and play through a failed thing and do that over and over. So, I'm going to edit these together to make it look as close as I can to a coherent thing. Um, and for that reason, some people might want to watch this on YouTube rather than watching me on stream raging and, uh, you know, well, my version of raging and the things. But uh, I may end up putting it at, and after I put all the pieces out, um, sh having an unedited version so that you can see exactly what happens. Because this is how, this is how starts like this go, right? So... If anybody wants to see that, let me know. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna posting this as a separate video as, rather than being the beginning of the campaign for that reason. And for anyone who who's who doesn't like the idea of me reloading, I'm not gonna be doing that moving forward. And I won't do it just because something bad happens. You know, I'll be doing it because I'm losing. And that probably won't be very risky after um, after CK2. And there's always the option moving forward to just... Because we're going to be keeping our eye periodically around the world at the other things. Because part of the Mega Campaign experience is seeing how the world around you plays out and becomes, you know different than history. For example, the, the the main focus of the Brittany campaign was Brittany and like the ending up as the Celtic Empire and all that stuff. We had stuff with some ahistorical crap uh, going on over here, but like uh, with the Persian game, at the end it kind of descended into us being a little bit second fiddle to other people <laughs> because of just the way that the way that things were working, but uh, yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen in this case. Uh, 
but uh, yeah. So if you guys want to, you know, give input into this, and uh, you know, you can show up to the streams. Um, you know, talk at me there. You can uh, join my my Discord channel. I have a Discord. It's I'll, I'll put a link in the video description, and the link is also on my stream page. And uh, yeah, that would be that would be awesome. And uh, you know, if you just want to leave a comment. You can do that, and uh, I'll re I'll always read those. I always read those, and um, I hope everybody enjoys the the first part of this and moving forward the rest of the campaign. And uh, yeah, I'll see you later.